In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Forza Horizon 5 connection issues on your Windows computer. So some of the problems you might be facing are constantly being disconnected, not being able to connect to the servers, or you cannot join your friends online. So there's a few things that we can do which will hopefully resolve the issues you're facing. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and you do enjoy this video, then hit that subscribe button because we are constantly doing new videos showing you how to resolve issues with games and also improve the performance in FPS in games. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure there isn't any problems with the Forza Horizon 5 servers. And the best way to check this is clicking on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on the Forza Support Twitter's page and they will tweet on here if there is a current issue with the servers. So this is a great way to get a good idea if there are any issues. And you can also go to the Forza Horizon Twitter page as well. As you can see, it's here on the right hand side. I will pop the link in the description below to see if there are any tweets on this page as well regarding the servers. So once you have checked all that and if you cannot see any issues, then you know it's something to do with your computer or your internet connection. So the next thing you need to do is just ensure there are currently no issues with your internet provider. So you need to go to the provider's site for your internet connection and then just check if there are any known issues within your local area. And if there are, then you will have to wait until those issues get resolved until you will be able to play Forza Horizon 5 online. After you have confirmed that there are currently no issues in your local area, then the next thing you will want to do is a speed test. So go onto your web browser and go onto Google and type in speed test. And you now need to click on run speed test. And this will now run a speed test on your internet connection. And you need to just check if you are getting the correct download speed and the upload speed. If you're not getting the correct speed, then you might need to contact your internet provider and let them know that you are currently experiencing an issue with your connection. And on mine right now, everything looks absolutely fine. That's the upload and download that I currently get. So once you are happy and there's no issues with your internet provider or your speed test, then you now want to just ensure no one else within your household is currently downloading or uploading a huge file. And also if anyone's streaming within your house and stuff like that, then you could always ask them nicely if they can do it later on so you can test to see if that resolves the issue. So we can now move on to doing a few methods within Windows which will hopefully resolve the issues you're having. First, you need to right click on the start menu icon. You then need to select settings and you then need to click on update and security. You now need to click on check for updates and just ensure you do have the latest updates installed for Windows. As you can see, it's downloading a malicious software removal tool at the moment, which is not going to do anything for the game. But if yours has detected any new updates, then let them install. And then once they've finished installing, go ahead and launch the game and see if it resolved the issue. You now need to ensure you have the latest driver installed for your network adapter or network card. If you don't know what network adapter you have, then you can right click on the start menu icon and then click on device manager. You then need to find network adapters and expand this menu. And then you can see here I have a Realtek PCIe GBE family controller, which means I need to download a driver for a Realtek network adapter. If you also have a Realtek network adapter, I will pop a link in the description below to a video that I've done on how to update your Realtek network driver. Once you have updated your network driver adapter, go ahead and launch Horizon 5 and see if that fixed the connection issues. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is right click on your network adapter in the system tray. You then need to click on troubleshoot problems. This will now see if it can detect any issues with your network adapter. And if it can identify a problem, then you need to follow the steps in resolving the issue. And as you can see, there currently are no issues with my network adapter. You then need to press close. And the next thing you need to do is right click again on your network adapter but this time click on Open Network and Internet Settings. You now need to scroll down and click on Change Adapter Options, and you then need to right click on your network adapter 
and click on disable. Once the adapter has been disabled, you now need to right click on it again and select enable. And once it's finished being enabled, go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing you want to ensure is your security and firewall is not blocking Forza Horizon 5. If it is blocking the game, then you will not be able to connect to the internet and that will be why you are not being able to connect to the Forza Horizon 5 servers. So unfortunately, I don't have every security firewall program installed on my computer. So I won't be able to show you how to do this if you're using a third party security program. But if you're using Windows Defender, then I can show you how to do this with Windows Defender. You need to open up the start menu and you need to type in Defender. You now need to select on Windows Defender Firewall and you then need to click on Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. We then need to scroll down and find Forza Horizon 5. And as you can see, Forza Horizon 5 is here and it has a tick under Private for both Forza Horizon 5 and Forza Horizon 5.exe. If you do not have ticks next to Forza Horizon 5, then you need to click on Change Settings and then you need to tick the boxes. If your game is missing from the list, then you need to click on Allow Another App and then click on Browse and you then need to find the Forza Horizon 5.exe and add it to the firewall exception list. Once you have added it, then click on the tick boxes to then give it access to the internet. So if you're using a third party firewall, you need to ensure, like I said, Forza Horizon 5 is getting access to the internet and not being blocked. If you're still having issues, then the next thing you want to do is just turn off your security software for a temporary period of time and then see if you still get the problems. If you're using Windows Defender, then all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and click on settings. You now need to click on to update and security and you then need to select Windows security and we then need to click on open Windows security. You now need to click on Fires and Threat Protections and then we need to click on Manage Settings under Fires and Threat Protection Settings. You now need to toggle Real Time Protection to Off and you will not be protected on your computer from security threats while the Real Time Protection is turned off. That goes with any other security programs you are going to turn off. So once you have turned off your security, go ahead and launch the game and see if it now works. If it does, then you need to allow the game on your security program. Also, if your security software does have a passive mode and a game mode, then you could always try turning that on and then seeing if you can play Forza Horizon 5 without the connection issues with that. If you purchased Forza Horizon 5 through the Microsoft Store, then you need to ensure you are signed in with the correct user. If you're not signed in with the correct user, then not only will you probably have issues actually trying to launch the game, but it will also cause connection issues with the game. So just ensure you are signed in the Microsoft Store and the Xbox app with the correct user account that you purchased the game on, or if you're using the Game Pass, ensure you're signed in with the account that has the Game Pass. The next thing you need to do is try running Forza Horizon 5 as an administrator. To do this with the Microsoft Store version of the game, open up the Start menu and you then need to find Forza Horizon 5 in the Start menu. You then need to right click on the game, go to More and then click on Run as Administrator. You will need to do this every time if this does resolve the issue. If you purchase Forza Horizon 5 through the Steam Store, then you need to open up Steam. I don't have the game in Steam, but I will show you how to do this on a different game. I'm going to launch Steam now. Once you have opened Steam, you now need to select your library and you then need to find Horizon 5 in your game list. I'm going to use CSGO as the example in this video. You then need to right click on the game, go to manage and then click on browse local files. You now need to right click on the horizon5.exe and click on properties and you now need to select compatibility and you then need to tick this option here that says run this program as an administrator. You then need to press apply and OK and you can now go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolves the connection issues. The next thing you need to do is if you're using a wireless connection 
then if possible use a cable connection it will offer better speeds and also stability but if that's not an option then try and move closer to your router with the wireless connection if you are using cables then just make sure there's no physical damage to the cables or if you have a cable spare then plug a new cable in just in case it is an issue with your cable so that does now bring me to the end of this video I hope the methods in the video help resolve the issues you're having with the game. If the methods in this video didn't resolve the connection issues you're having with the game, then you might need to wait until they release a new update that resolves the problem that you're having because it could be an issue actually within the game and there's nothing you can do about it. Or the other thing you could try is reinstalling the game. So if you liked the video, then click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.